Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Wildlife Park. And today, we're building ourselves a Sumatran Rhino exhibit. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how this one turns out, actually. Um, yeah, so, I, I'm not really sure why I decided to do this. I was looking at uh, lots of exhibit ideas for various animals. Elephants, rhinos, giraffes, you name it, I was probably looking at ideas for it. And then I decided, like, oh, well, I did say I was going to do Indian elephants. Uh, so I started looking at elephant exhibits and then for some reason once again went back to rhino exhibits and decided I'd rather do a rhinoceros exhibit. So I decided to do Sumatran rhinos because they're one of my favorite rhinos, in all honesty. I don't know why. I just think they look cool. Like myself, some little jungle rhinos. I think they're awesome. Uh, but yeah, I decided to make this little exhibit. Um, well, I say little, it's probably one of the largest exhibits in the zoo currently. Uh, the grizzly bear one might be slightly larger, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I did it. I did a very small fence for this, and that's because that fence is about half the height of the rhinos, and for some reason to me that just seemed like it was gonna be okay. Like, it, it's something they can't jump over, and I feel like it kinda didn't look too dis uh, dissimilar from uh, fences I'd seen for rhino exhibits what, that I was looking at. Uh, surprisingly, most of them weren't like super like thick fence or like concrete stuff. A lot of them were like wooden fences or maybe like some steel bars or something like that. So I feel like this fence kind of works. Um, I did my traditional rock wall bit uh, just because, you know, it's it's me building rock walls. Uh, if I'm not building a rock wall, am I really making an exhibit, you know? Um, I did do a shelter. Uh, it's not my, uh, to be honest, I kind of just didn't really finish the shelter in all honesty, but that was more because uh, this exhibit was already taken long enough and I didn't really want to spend a lot of extra time on it uh, designing like this mega structure that, you know, like I, I wasn't really going to spend much time looking at. Because uh, I think I've made a, the, that mistake a few times in the past with these videos is I've uh, spent too much time working on a, like the shelters. When in all honesty, that time is much better spent building the uh, exhibit itself, detailing terrain, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, I, I doing more rock wall work here. I think this rock wall turns out really well. In all honesty, I think it looked really good. Um, definitely fit in well with the platypus exhibit being like right behind it. Uh, I think that was a spectacular thing actually uh, to do that because uh, you'll see later I make a waterfall and it actually connects up to platypus wall as well and I think that's super cool um, I really like that thing making it, it's giving me some ideas and maybe some stuff I should do with the platypus exhibit which is still my favorite I think that's actually the best exhibit I've built to date uh, honestly better than even stuff I've built on my uh, dino series uh, so yeah if you haven't seen the platypus episode go check it out um, yeah but uh, you'll see I'm just base I put like a simple like backdrop in there so they can't like escape but uh, yeah other than that there's not really much um, this exhibit is a little flat, I realized, but I think it looks a lot better. Um, after the time lapse ends, I did actually go back in and bone meal. Uh, like I felt, I feel, I felt, I filled in a lot of the terrain with plants and a bit more, like some bushes and stuff like that. So it looks a lot better uh, when you guys will see it when I'm doing like the full-on review of the enclosure and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think I think overall you'll get a good sense for it. It is a little flat, but that's just because. I started with a really flat area, and I kind of regret that in the long run. I think I should have put a lot more terrain elevation in, uh, stuff like that. But I think it turned out alright in the end. I think it looks pretty good. And I think it's definitely a good centerpiece for our little jungle area that we're doing. Um, what other animals do we have there? I guess we can put, what, Indian elephants, uh, oh, copies, monkeys, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really happy with this exhibit. I think it looks really nice. Um, I did the same thing we did with the tapirs where we did a bunch of like stone ruins because I always think in a jungle exhibit that kind of gives it a cool little like feel to it. Makes it look very ancient and overgrown. I don't know. That's just my particular taste with uh, with jungle exhibits for some reason. <laughs> Not really sure why. Um, yeah, you can see me trying to add a bit of height uh, difference in here. Um, it gets a lot better once I add in the water feature, which is what so I, I dug this little pit out. This was more meant to be terrain variation, like kind of trying to add some depth in. Uh, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to fill this with water. And you'll actually see I deepened it at one point. Uh, and I was like, oh, OK, this is where we're going to put like a little lake. Yeah, like right here. And then I just completely decided like, no, nah, this isn't going to that's not going to work well. Let's just let's just go with like a lake and we'll put some water alongside the fence to kind of give it a bit more shape. I don't think I've decided that quite yet, but uh, yeah, yeah. I think 
I think it looks pretty good. I think it does. I should definitely put some grass on top of the uh, rock wall to kind of make it look even more overgrown, throw in some more custom trees and stuff, more vines for sure. Uh, I think that all would have made it look a bit nicer, a bit better overall. Um, I decided to do the coarse dirt pathways uh, for the animals that I've been doing in some of the other ones. Also now, now you can see me uh, throwing in uh, the river type thing. I didn't do this along the entire fence and I'm not really sure why I didn't. I just decided not to. I think it was because I felt it would look weird with the lake being there and stuff like that. Uh, there's the waterfall I'm gonna put in and just a bit more terrain editing. I threw in some of the mossy rocks again you've seen in several of the other builds I've done. Ah yes, and then I decided to replace, uh, kind of do what I did with the tapir exhibit and put a kind of like a water resistant block type thing. Something to look like, you know, it's actually going to hold water in um, along the entire fence. Uh, I also do, I think, yeah, I think this will show up. Oh yeah, because it's before I did all the foliage, yeah. Um, I tried out a new block today and that was the mud block from uh, Biomes of Plenty, I think? I think it's Biomes of Plenty. Uh, and I think it turned out really well. It kind of gave a far more like, I don't know, like uh, jungle, swamp kind of look to the build, and I really liked that overall. I think it looks really good. Um, definitely, get, I think, enhanced the vibe I was going for with this exhibit. I think also adding in the water definitely helps with the lack of height variation because there's a lot less overall ground. Um, <laughs> and man, I'm really realizing, like, lake, or like, I guess that's not a lake, that's more like a pond, but ponds are very much like a, a thing with me when I, it comes to designing exhibits. Like, I just love throwing ponds in. Also, you can see the mud block. I think the mud block is honestly the thing I was missing with a lot of the water stuff I've been detailing recently, because it gives a really good, like, color contrast to the podzle and the coarse dirt. It kind of blends all three together a bit more, and I'm sure if I threw in something like brown concrete or brown stained clay, it would, like, float even better. Uh, kind of like we did with the kangaroo exhibit, to kind of give that bit of a better color modulation. Uh, really enhance the textures and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I think even at this point you can really start to see the exhibit coming together a lot more. Just the color palette really being solidified and all that. Um, what do I do here? I think, I think I, well yeah, I'm still working on this. And I think I go through and create a few more of those trodden pathways or game trails, I guess is what they're called, isn't it? Uh, coarse dirt just kind of like showing where the rhinos probably would walk a lot uh, so there won't be there shouldn't be you know like a lot of plants right there because they've been trampling them stuff like that and at this point I just kind of went crazy with a lot of the uh, Zawa plants because I love them they're awesome I took most of these I think from the tapir exhibit and the platypus exhibit because I think that's pretty much solidified right now as my jungle palette uh, so these plants will be returning in just about every single jungle build I do now I'm pretty sure <laughs> Which is good. It's good to have a good uh, like theme and palette down for what you do for each kind of exhibit or like each kind of biome. That way, when you go through it, there's a lot of consistency. Um, I went with my favorite. Uh, I think they're blue orchids, just because honestly, best flower in the game, in my opinion. Best flower. Uh, I don't know why. I just like them. Then again, blue is one of my favorite colors. Um, and here I decided to do the same custom trees we uh, did in the, uh, in the platypus exhibit. And I believe, I think I remembered, I think they're, the, the design of the tree is by Archelaus. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, he does a lot of building stuff. I, yeah, I think that's where I got the tree design from. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I really like it. it it's a really nice, simple tree design. It's not too complicated. Uh, <laughs> and it fits well because uh, you can basically switch out the leaf texture for whatever you want and you get a very different looking tree uh, and just how much le how many leaves you throw in not how much how many leaves you throw in stuff like that yeah so I think it looks pretty good overall pretty happy with how it's all turned out um, yeah and again when you see the final build you'll see like all the detail that got thrown in that it, it, trust me it looks leagues better with all the grasses thrown in and all the bone meal stuff and the bushes because it really just makes this exhibit so much more dense and tropical uh and i think i ended up throwing a ton of vines in as well later uh, but yeah you guys will see all that uh when i show the build off but uh yeah i i'm again i'm really happy with this exhibit i think it turned out really really well um yeah i, I just really enjoyed it i think it was a good build uh i don't know if the next exhibit's going to be a jungle build i'm kind of what is it? We've done three jungle builds in a row now, uh, so I'm not really sure. Oh, there was a weird little jump in the footage there. Um, 
But yeah, we've done three jungle builds in a row now, so I'm not really sure if we're gonna do uh, another one. We might just do, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a different kind of biome, something we haven't done yet. Maybe we can try, uh, oh, we have done a desert animals. I forgot we have three desert animals. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that. Um, maybe we could try like a reptile uh, next episode. Like a, like a Komodo dragon or something, if I have one of those still, I don't know. Or we could do like a crocodile or the gharial maybe. Gharials would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's all I've got to say on this. So I'll catch up with you guys in the, uh, build showcase. All right, guys. And here we are with the exhibit. Uh... <laughs> I know I kept I know I keep saying I'm gonna do elephants and again this isn't the elephant but uh and this is actually where I meant to put the elephants but I was just I don't know for some reason I decided rhinos would go here really well and uh, yeah here's our Sumatran rhinos which are one of my favorites although I believe they're actually one of the most endangered one of well I mean just about every single rhino is like critically endangered but these guys are super endangered and Honestly, I love them. I think they're incredible. They're just such cool looking rhinoceroses. One of my favorites by a long shot. Um, but yeah, so we have three of them in here and I think they look super cool. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this exhibit overall. I, I think it turned out all right. Um, <laughs> I know the fence probably isn't necessarily the most convincing fence I've ever made for um, an exhibit, but I, I still think it works okay. I still think it works fairly well. Um, Water feature looks good, plenty of plants. Um, definitely could be denser, I think. I definitely think I could uh, make all the plants a bit, you know, denser. I don't keep saying the word dense. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I think even doing something like that, honestly, kind of adds to the illusion of this being a jungle a bit more. Just, you know, throwing in a bit more foliage here and there uh, to kind of, yeah, break up line of sight even more. But like, I think that looks cool. I really do. Um, you guys aren't supposed to be on that. Um, they're small enough though that I figured the iron bar was good enough. I mean, I feel like in real life they probably could just stand over that, but whatever, you know, it's all right. It's just a little fictional zoo. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this transitions well from uh, the platypus exhibit we built last episode. Which I have to say is probably my new favorite one. I mean, it just looks fantastic. It's this awesome, tiny little build. Oh, super cool. And ties in well with the tapirs. Uh, and yeah, I think well, it'll be a good like springboard to go do other exhibits in the near future. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I, didn't, I didn't do the shelter really because, to be honest, I, the exhibit was already taking long enough, so I didn't really feel like doing it. And that's kind of why I decided to stop it where it was. Um, but yeah, I think overall this exhibit turned out really well. So let me know what you guys think of it uh, down in the comments below. Let me know what animals you guys want to see or any suggestions for exhibits you have. Uh, I've seen a lot of suggestions for a reptile house. Uh, we'll see about that. That might have to be like a live stream type thing. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I hope you're all looking forward to more. And until next time, guys, see ya.